Hi, welcome to my latest Yankee Candle video and today I'm reviewing Yankee Candle's Magical Christmas Morning Collection for Christmas 2020. Um, this new collection, as you see, has contemporary labels and I'm going to delve into them in more detail. I have four scents here. There is a fifth one, Vanilla French Toast, which um, isn't particularly festive and I don't have that one, so uh, probably not too much to my taste. But these are the four festive ones. Um, Yankee Candle have sent me these to try and tell you about them. So um, without any further ado, there's a story to tell. So let's step into Christmas. Hi, welcome back. You won't see too much of me in this video, you'll be pleased to know. I found this beautiful uh, Christmas scene here, and I think this kind of matches the atmosphere that Yankee are trying to bring this year with um, the Magical Christmas Morning Collection. Yankee Candles and Christmas, it's the it's what got me into Yankee Candles in the first place, so it's always the most special time of year to burn them, and I know, in, I think it's when most people actually do burn their Yankee Candles, is at Christmas time. It kind of takes on a whole lease of life all of its own, so... This, I think this scene does go with the Magical Christmas Morning Collection. You've got to have something to get you in the vibe. You can't kind of burn them. I know some people do burn them in the summer, but I can't do that. So I'm going to tell you this story. I've kind of thought about this, and uh, I think there's a story to tell with the Magical Christmas Morning Collection. So um, let's get on with it. <laughs> right, I'm going to start with this one. This is Singing Carols. Singing Carols. Brand new from Yankee Candle for Christmas. Now this one, I have to admit, it's not the greatest label of all time. Some sheet music and a kind of out-of-focus Christmas tree there. Uh, we'll have to forgive that one. This one, just before I even start, this reminds me of um, Christmas Eve. And probably the last 20 years plus, we've always watched Carols from Kings um, at King's College in Cambridge. And that kind of sets off our Christmas Eve we always watch that early evening and have a lovely time watching that. Uh, special poignancy for me, my son's currently finishing a PhD at Cambridge University, so um, got a bit of a link there, but I've always, you know, maybe even 30 years, 40 years, have enjoyed watching Carols from Kings. So singing Carols, Christmas Eve for me, and let's have a smell of this one. Ah, oh, singing Carols. It's that beautiful, it's a beautiful, it's kind of almost... Um, it's not quite mint, touch of minty frostiness to it, but it's very green. This is the Christmas tree in the room. This is the the Christmas tree and perhaps a bit of the backdrop. It's very outdoorsy, so it's actually kind of like singing carols outdoors or opening your doors and carol singers are there. If you're lucky enough to have some pine trees or whatever outside, they come wafting in. So this is this is very much the colour sets the candle. This is the green one for this Christmas. And uh, let's have a look at this one. It's a harmonious combination of fruit, evergreen and spice notes to create an inspiring Christmas melody. So it does have the fruit in there as well, but you can just pick that up subtly. It's mainly the green touch of brightness. So let's see what we've got in there. We have mandarin and eucalyptus. So that's the thing I'm picking up. It's eucalyptus that kind of almost gives it that um, slightly minty touch to it. Very, very pretty. Uh, fir needle, juniper and clove. Everything I love about Yankee Candles. I love the green outdoorsy candle. Beautiful. You can really smell those kind of pine needles as they drop off the tree there in the mid notes. And blackberry, cedar wood and pine. So again, a touch of that deep warming fruit. The woodiness of the fire. The greenness of the pine. It's more of a kind of fresh outdoorsy woodsness though rather than the fire, I must admit. so. But really nice. So that's singing carols, as I say, with that lovely... Dark green wax colour. Shame about the label, but you can't you can't win them all. <laughs> um, so that's singing carols. Lovely scent. Okay, the next one. So okay, that's the end of Christmas Eve, and now you're going to wake up on Christmas morning to this lovely scene in your dreams. I must admit, in your dreams. And uh, if you're lucky, I think I can only remember this happening once in my life when I was a child. Uh, probably when I was about eight years old, and you get this outside. It's a surprise snowfall on Christmas Day. Very rarely happens, certainly here in the UK, in the southern parts of the UK anyway. Um, but there we go, a surprise snowfall, and here's the candle. And, you know, this is kind of why I picked this background scene. That's all, That could almost be from that. Um, that's the, uh, with a lovely kind of snowy window and a beautifully decorated tree there. I like this label very much. It's very classy, very elegant, uh, surprise snowfall. But again, let's have a go at this scent. Ah, oh, this is this is this is for me the winner. This is um it smells really strong, it smells really fresh. Slight touch of that kind of laundry feel. It smells like you'd want freshly dropped snow to smell. Really fresh, again, touch of minty. 
touch of green, but just really fresh and bright and wonderful. Really enjoy this one. So, surprise snowfall is swirling snowflakes, brighten the crisp winter air with the fresh scents of verbena, silver spruce, and winter fruit. So, uh, an interesting choice there. Not quite what you'd expect. Um, verbena, elderberry, and rosemary in the top note. So, there's a herbal note there in the top, which is really clever. That gives it that touch of, um, you could, that, so that kind of makes you smell the trees along with the snow and what else is going on, because the verbena is quite a strong one. Elderberry, you can smell a slight berry scent in there, just on the top of it. In the middle, we've got wild moss and silver spruce. So that's the full outdoors. That's opening the window on Christmas morning and the snow's out there. And, and that beautiful outdoor smell comes wafting in with the wild moss and silver spruce. And hinoki wood and white cedar in the base. So again, really strengthening that outdoor woodsy, beautiful perfumey smell. Really, really like this one. It's going to be very popular for, uh, you know, and you, you and if we're lucky enough to get snow or colder days or whatever, but in the lead up to Christmas, I think that's just wonderful. Surprise snowfall. So there we go with that one. And then, okay, you've got over the snowfall, all the excitement. Uh, you've opened the presents. It's kind of, you know, mid-morning. This is our routine. I don't know if it's yours, but um, <laughs> there we go. And uh, you've had a bit of this vanilla French toast, which I haven't got, so I can't, can't review that one. Um, but what you might fancy doing is then is you may fancy a naughty little tipple late morning. You know, nothing too, nothing too heavy. But how about, how about some Christmas morning punch, late Christmas morning? Sounds good, doesn't it? Uh, this label's not too bad. It's a jar of fruit punch, again, with some kind of out-of-focus Christmas lights. Again, very contemporary, kind of modern. Sets the theme for this collection. Not outstanding. Lovely, traditional Christmas red wax colour that goes along with it. Uh, but it's all about the smell, isn't it? So let's have a go at this one. Oh, this is like, now, I've not really done too many of these fruity kind of Christmas... Uh, um, kind of things like festive cocktail and stuff in the past. So this is... It's interesting. It's very pleasant. It's got a real kind of um, red fruity mix to it. You can definitely smell pomegranate and other things in there. It's very interesting, very pleasant. And a nice, as I say, a nice late morning Christmas one to set kind of... Kind of almost got a bit of a sweety aspect too. So, you know, the joy of uh, lots of sweets, treats and things going on and the Christmas jellies and all that kind of thing. So let's have a look at this one. This is a Christmas morning punch. It's a spectacular blend of ruby red pomegranate Strawberry and cranberry notes, a celebratory fragrance the whole family will love. And I think that is absolutely true. You know, Yankee are always, they put a lot of effort into these descriptions. And uh, that really hits the nail on the head. I think everybody will enjoy this one. Fruity, sweety, punchy, it's got it all. <laughs> uh, we have pomegranate, cassis and bergamot on the top. So that gives it that really rich, it, that rounds off the pomegranate into a a deep, and you can smell the cassis in there. That's kind of like the blackberry aroma. That really gives it that warm, fruity. Uh, the bergamot makes it feel a little bit alcoholic, so it's a slightly alcoholy punch, but not over the top. On the top notes, in the middle we have strawberry and cranberry. So that really bashing in the Christmas theme with cranberry there. But cranberry can be a bit tart and a bit hit of miss for people. So um, the strawberry sweetens it up a bit and makes it a bit less tart. And in the base, it's sugar and vanilla. So that's the sweetie aspect that, that you you know you can really you can actually pick up the sugar underneath and the vanilla that kind of gives it that bag of sweets aspect. So yeah, I think that's a good one for all the family. Late Christmas morning, who wouldn't enjoy a Christmas morning punch? It makes me fancy one already. I can't wait. Getting very excited for Christmas. I don't want to. It's too early in the year, but I'm getting excited. These Yankee candles get me excited for Christmas. Happens every year with the Christmas collection. God, oh, just enjoying. This. I don't know if you can hear the slight crackling wood fire in the background there. Uh, they're not burning Yankee candles, so we should cover that up, really, but I think they're fairly generic, aren't they? You can just... don't know if you can pick that up. Slight crackle of the crackling wood fire. I can get it anyway, which leads me neatly in to the finale of these four candles, and this is Holiday Hearth. Holiday Hearth has a lovely label. It's a traditional... Um, brick fireplace with a fire going and uh, stockings hanging on the fireplace and there are presents stacked up under a beautiful tree and a lovely Christmas stocking on there with a reindeer on it which I don't know if you can see that and again it's a lovely traditional Christmas red wax colour so Holiday Hearth um, this one is a, a winner I think um, 
probably the best label out of the four. It's the most traditional Christmassy kind of label, even though it still has that kind of contemporary touch to it. So let's have a smell of Holiday Hearth. Mmm. This is probably the most kind of unusual. You can smell the wood fire, which is amazing. And there's other things going on as well. Slight, very slight spiciness to it. Don't get worried. It doesn't seem over spicy. It's fiery. It's woodsy. It's slightly spicy. Let's have a closer look at this one. Holiday Half is a cosy gathering by the fireplace, all decked out with festive decor, warm, spicy and sweet, like the magic of holiday traditions. And it is. This is the kind of classic um, Christmas scent that takes you back to Christmas's past. So where if some of the others may have surprised Snowfall and Christmas uh, Morning Punch have a slightly modern feel to them, this is traditional Christmas. This is Christmases gone by, you know, cosying up, and the smells that you remember um, growing up, um, perhaps as a, you know, as a child or whatever, well, as a child, <laughs> yeah. and these are the smells that will take you back to those lovely kind of cosy Christmases by the fire, hopefully. Um, you have anise, cinnamon and clove in the top. But again, it's not too strong, the spiciness. Just gives it that lovely kind of spicy, clovey, deep richness to it in the top there. In the mid-notes, gardenia, which is hugely unusual, a floral note, cedarwood and oak moss. So that's giving you that kind of, that cleverly creates that fireplace feel to this candle. And warm musk and vanilla cream in the bottom again. So that probably just softens that spice in the top. Like I say, it's not overly spicy, but it does have that to it. So really like it. This smells like you would want this uh, lovely festive cabin to smell like. You know, you can smell the fire, you can smell the wood. You can smell the, you know, spicy potpourri, lovely glass of brandy or whiskey or whatever there. Lovely. So let's give you a quick run through of these again. I, I, I do like these. I always love Yankee Candle Christmas. I'm a real sucker for it. And uh, no exception this year. So we have Singing Carol. This is your outdoor Christmas tree. Oh, so pretty, this one. Really, really nice. If you want a Christmas tree scent, go for Singing Carols this year. Beautiful outdoorsy carols on Christmas Eve. You wake up Christmas morning, or any time leading up to Christmas, if there's a surprise snowfall, the freshest, brightest, strongest one of the collection. This is my favourite, I think. It's so great. I can't wait to burn this one on my conservatory on a chilly morning. Hopefully we'll get a chilly morning before Christmas. Surprise snowfall. Then it's the uh, late morning tipple, um, either with a bit of alcohol or not with Christmas pouring punch. You know, the pomegranate, the cranberry, the strawberry, a fruity red mix. Very, very nice, with sweeties underneath for the kids as well. So that's uh, that's the family one. And then Christmas is, you know, relax, kick off your kick off your shoes. The dinner's on, holiday hearth. Christmas is past or Christmas present. The fire's on. The afternoon, this will even take you through to after your dinner, having a nap as I do. <laughs> um, just wonderful fragrance. If you remember Crackling Wood Fire, perhaps there's a little bit of that in this one. Just stunning. So that's... Magical Christmas morning from Yankee Candle. Really like those four fragrances. I hope you do too. And uh, enjoy your Yankee Candle Christmas. Thanks for watching. I will be back with you again soon. Bye.